get into basketball? Uh, I use it as a way to lose weight. Uh, I was overweight when I was younger. Then I lost weight, then I hit a growth spur. So I kind of use it just to get fit. Okay, at what age did you start playing? Uh, 14. Turned 15, yeah. Um, who was your favorite basketball player growing up? Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> Um, who is your mentor? My mentor, uh, it was a lot of people from the neighborhood, uh, just growing up, just hearing their experiences, they kind of like guided me to make the right decisions and not just choose to be in the street, so. Okay, um, and how have they influenced you on and off the court throughout your journey as a college basketball player? Well, um, I would say like the YMCA where I'm from back home. Um, coming from Brooklyn is tough because like a lot of kids can either go one way, they can either be on the street, so they can either be chasing education or sports. So I feel like the kids, the younger kids in the YMCA, the kids I mentor, I feel like they make me motivated to do what I'm doing. I think about them from time to time. And I just, you know, it's tough waking up 6 a.m. to practice and every day. So it's a dedication. And, you know, I know they look up to me and say, oh, Arnold is in college. He's an example of someone that can make it, you know, this far. So thankful for that. Um, where do you draw your inspiration from? Uh, <laughs> a lot of different places. Uh, being that my mom's a single mom, she had to provide for me and my brother. That's a lot of inspiration because it was times where it was tough for us to even eat or get a meal on the table. So I know she tried her best to, you know, provide for me and my brother. So I just push myself. Whenever I want to give up, I just say, you know where you came from, you know what you have to do, and I just keep going. So family must be really important. Yeah, family is very important. We're a real small circle. It's only three of us, so. You're real close. Yeah, really close. Um, you transferred to George Mason after your first year at Seton Hall. Um, why did you make the switch? Why did you choose George Mason? Uh, I chose George Mason because, I mean, when I came down here, the, the place was beautiful. And it just seemed like a lot of, it wasn't like too city. It was nice and spacey, and I could, I could go to D.C. whenever I wanted to. But uh, I chose it because, mm, let's see. I just like coach you at like uh, like his technique to like run up and down and I think coming down here has matured me being away from home because seeing home was like 20 minutes away from my house uh, over the bridge and I just felt like just coming and going away to school matured me so I think it all worked out for me. Okay. Um, how do you feel the team played last season? Uh, I was up and down. A lot of times we were trying to get on the same page with each other. But uh, I think we're, more, most of us are veterans and, you know, we're more of a team this year. Our chemistry is, like, meshing together, so we should be good this year. Okay, what are your individual strengths and weaknesses as a basketball player? Uh, my strengths are always playing hard. That's no matter what. If I, if I, my shots aren't falling down, I can always rebound. I do multiple things. Uh, my weakness probably would be, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to sound like the perfect player, but uh, it's probably my left hand. But I, I don't. I'm in like a lot of situations where I, I can use my left hand. I just kind of use my. Strength. Is that what you spend the most time working on? Is that like the area you feel like you need to improve, or that you've been working on in the off season? Oh, uh, I just work on my whole game in the off season. It's no. It's, it's not one thing. It's I not do. An yeah, thing. I it's just the game shoot in at everything in general because I want to be the best at what I do. So that's great. Yeah. Um, what about the team? What do you think your strength is as a team this season compared to last season? And where do you feel like you're still working to improve? Uh, I think a strength this year is probably our size and athleticism. Like we have a lot of size and we have a lot of depth. And, you know, if we all are on the same page, then I think the sky's the limit for us as a team. That's how I really feel. Okay. Um, what are your goals for this season? Uh, one of the major goals as a team for us is to go to the NCAA tournament and make a run in the NCAA tournament. Okay. Um, talk about the relationship you have with your teammates and how that plays a role in the success of the team. Uh, it plays a major role. I think us bonding and being brothers is one of the biggest parts because then we know each other on the court. We can pass the ball. We can make better decisions. And it helps the chemistry. It helps the chemistry a lot. I mean, I think it does. Just like going to little events off outside of basketball is important. And just last bonding. Year, yeah, last year I didn't really do that as much. And mm -hmm. this year I made an effort to you know get to know my teammates and who they are. That's great. Um, what's the most memorable game you've played in so far in your college career? Uh, probably when we had the the overtime versus Townsend. Mm -hmm. uh, Talk to me a little bit. Take uh, me back to that moment. Okay. <laughs>
That was a crazy game because I wasn't. I was, my my mints were varying through the season, up and down. So John got double team, passed it back to me. I hit that shot. I was just like, wow. Like I didn't have no time to think, and it went in. So and we went to overtime. Unfortunately, we lost. But just being in that game, I think that game in Virginia when we first beat the AC, ACC team, mm -hmm. that was a big game that I, I remember. So probably those two. Okay. Um, what do you do to get up for the game? What do you do to get hyped? <laughs> Do you have like a pregame ritual or a our pregame ritual is kind of weird? <laughs> I really want to hear about it now. I like I don't know I don't know if it's butterflies in my stomach, but every game before the game I take a bow movement. I <laughs> I have to like oh my god I have to. It's that's just, your pregame ritual. Yeah, that's it right there. It happens every time. It never fails. So it's probably nerves a little yeah, bit of nerves, yeah, little, little butterflies to get it out, and I'm good. Um. Okay. Last question. If you could play one on one against any player, who would it be? LeBron. Really? LeBron James, yeah. Just, I don't know. I just want to compete against him. I just would like to. Awesome.